truckers are used to long-haul journeys, and after five rounds of negotiations, an agreement between South Korea's Transport Ministry and Trucking Union finally arrived. We've reached an agreement to continue the safe trucking freight rate system. In addition, we agreed to continue discussions on the expansion of items within this system. We welcome the government's decision. Earlier, nearly 7,000 truckers rallied at over a dozen sites across South Korea. For days, they'd been protesting the government's plans to scrap the safe trucking freight rate system. The three-year plan guaranteeing minimum wages for truck drivers was due to expire later this year, which many said would leave them financially crippled. Although half of the profits truck drivers make is used for gas, the government has no answers to the rising gas price. The safe trucking freight rate system can help cope with the problem. As well as the protests, some truckers even obstructed cargo transport at major ports. Their actions causing huge shipment delays with some steel and cement factories forced to halt operations. Early in the standoff, the government was hesitant to get involved. Only when the government sticks to the law and principles and remains neutral will Labour and management be able to build the capacity to resolve their issues freely on their own. But soon the military was sent in to help companies move their products. The damage has been largely limited to domestic industries, with cost estimates reaching around $1.7 billion. But a prolonged strike would have undermined global supply chains already hit by the conflict in Ukraine and the pandemic. There have been no reports of substantial disruptions to South Korea's biggest export items, as the nation's truckers head back to work. Manny Tsigas, ABC News.